everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's time some news, baby. Let's take back that time. Com. Crap. Today we got 36 mods on the testing list. Giants are taking some time off. Stream week continues today. We know of two mods releasing today, at least. And we got six modders to talk about, including some updated information on LR Modding's 4830 Sprayer. Let's take a look. Starting off today with the mods in testing. In total, we got 36 mods on the list today, 34 in stage one, and two are in stage two. Some notable mods of PC testing include the Ultimate Auto-Loading Bailing Pack, the Volvo HB30 Hydraulic Hammer, and the John Deere 8R 2016. Also with testing, we have the Case Age RB455-465, the F-Series 1981, and larger capacity pallets. Some notable maps in PC testing today include Westbridge Hills, Black Forest, Gannendal, Frankenmuth Farming Map, Michigan Farms Map, Wilhelmina 22, Green River 22, and Figthal. There could be more, but these are the ones that I recognize. And your only two mods in console testing today is the Gregoire Besson Prima Pack and the Matru Pack still in testing. With all that being said, we still have 144 mods that he waited to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is six work days, but it may as well be uh, January 9th. We'll explain. So yeah, that average wait time, I think it's going to be a little bit more than six work days, depending on when you get your mods submitted, because Giants are heading out for the holidays. They posted up a blog saying that they're heading out for the holidays, <laughs> but it doesn't appear that the entire team is at least off starting today. Looks like some are gone today, with others maybe working through the rest of the week and we could see them trickling back into the office starting on monday january the 2nd with the full team back at it by monday january 9th my guess is that mods will continue to release maybe lightly but at least we'll have some through the rest of this week and maybe christmas eve or christmas day sometimes we get those so that'll be pretty cool and then we should see them start to release again after january the 9th everyone deserves a break for the holidays and i hope that you are able to take time off for yourselves i know i'm going to be taking christmas day through the 30th which is my birthday off but we'll still have daily videos releasing so no worries there i'm not going to leave you guys left out stream week continues today with more giveaways and some multiplayer with our friends from giant software and g portal joining in on the action if you missed yesterday's live stream definitely check that out we had a good time and speaking of giveaways congratulations to eric m and troy l on winning those giveaways from yesterday. If you haven't already, make sure to check your emails and respond ASAP to claim your prize. Giveaway information for today's live stream will be posted on Discord shortly after this video releases and in the live stream's description once it is up. We should be starting sometime between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern today, and I'll see you there. So I know we said mods are going to be a little bit sparse, but we've got a couple that we actually know will be releasing today. We have Gamer Designs Pull Trailer and Connect Modding's MP Agro Pack, both pending release. We should see them released later after this video drops. We do have one other mod that we know of that's showing testing completed, the John Deere 4830 Self-Propelled Sprayer from LR Modding. However, we don't know if it's going to be released today or if it failed testing. We're just going to have to wait and see. Either way, we do get some pretty cool specs for the machine ahead of its release, so we'll check a look at those. It's going to have a 118 foot or 36 meter boom. It's got the Green Star 3000, seven different selections on its boom are hydrostatic drivetrain, 3,785 liter capacity or 1,000 gallon tank, 280 horsepower, and 30 mile per hour max speed. It's also going to cost you $100,000. Custom modding has their John Deere 9R generations posted up. We have the first, second, and third gen tractors. We don't really get a whole lot of information, though, other than these screenshots, but they do say that they will be posting more updated information soon. So stay tuned for that. EY Modding's John Deere Model A is in-game and working. Of course, the green color hasn't been applied yet, but everything has to start off with primer anyway, so that's all good. He does say that the 3D model is not completely finished yet either, so it's still going to be a little while before we see anything with Giants of Testing, I would say maybe after the new year for sure. Hispano Modding brings us new information on his Pivots mod that we talked about yesterday for the first time in a while. This PC-only mod will be available in four different sizes. We'll have the 1, 2, three and four section models. There are also going to be four different rotation configurations. You can do a full rotation, three quarter, a half turn, or even a quarter of a turn and go back and forth. We'll also have options to help you guys make drawing the fields easier around them. And they're suitable for undulated terrain so you can have confidence when placing them down. And also he's going to give you guys even more confidence because he'll release a video showing 
how to use these to accompany their release. IJ Creative Design is back with us and says that both of their branded AW Mono 14 trailer and the Lizard version are currently with Giants for testing and have been going back and forth for the past few weeks. He's hoping they'll pass soon and says that in addition to the silage sides, he's made some other small adjustments, so be ready. In the meantime, he's still working on the Ford Steiger FW tractors and will be sharing more information on those with us soon. And lastly today, Taylor Farms Prairie Farm Michigan map did fail testing on a few smaller errors that you guys could see here and asks if anybody knows about the wildlife layer with animals running through the buildings. Either way, we will not be seeing this map before the new year drops, it looks like, but you guys can still sit back and relax and enjoy other maps that are already on the Mod Hub right now. And you can enjoy this self or segue to the outro right now as well. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description, and you can check out this entire video in the form of a news article on farmsimnews.com. There's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod is going to be released, and if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So, make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about going on in the world of farming simulator well guys that's it for today hope you enjoyed the video drop a like on it if you did get subscribed if you're new and join the goham fam make sure your notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel that's it. hope you have a great day we will see you later Peace. Giants may be taking about two to three weeks off, but I'm only going to take one. I got Let's Plays dropping throughout that whole time, and we'll still be doing some farm sim news before and after the break.